Poems Every Child Should Know, edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 39, read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains two poems. For All That and All That, and A New Arrival. Part 4 continued. For All That. Robert Burns, the ploughman and poet, dinnered wi' a lord. The story goes that he was put at the second table. That lord is dead, but Robert Burns still lives. He is immortal. It is the survival of the fittest. For ah that and ah that is a poem that wipes out the superficial value put on money and other externalities. This poem is more valuable in education than good penmanship or good spelling. There are a couple of footnotes to this poem. I'll read them first. The word hodden grey means coarse woolen clothes. A burkey is an impudent fellow. And a koof is a fool or blockhead. Is there for honest poverty that hangs his head, and ah that, the coward slave we pass him by, we dare be poor for ah that. For ah that, and ah that, our toils obscure, and ah that, the rank is but the guinea's stamp, the man's the gowd for ah that. What though on Hamley Fair we dine, wear hodden grey, and ah that, give fools their silks, and knaves their wine, a man's a man for ah that, for ah that, and ah that, their tinsel show, and ah that, the honest man, though e'er so poor, is king o' men for a that. Ye see yon Berkey, cad a lord, wha struts and stares and a that. Though hundreds worship at his word, he's but a coof for a that. For a that and a that, his ribbon star and a that, the man of independent mind, he looks and laughs at a that. A prince can make a belted knight, a marquis duke and a that. But an honest man's aboon his might, good faith he mauna for that. For ah that, and ah that, their dignities, and ah that, the pith o' sense and pride o' worth, are higher rank than ah that. Then let us pray that come it may, and come it will for ah that, that sense and worth, o'er all the earth, may bear the gree, and ah that. For ah that, and ah that, it's coming yet for ah that that man to man the world o'er shall brothers be for a that. Robert Burns A New Arrival The New Arrival is a valuable poem because it expresses the joy of a young father over his new baby. If girls should be educated to be good mothers, so should boys be taught that fatherhood is the highest and holiest joy and right of man. The child is educator to the man, he teaches him how to take responsibility, how to give unbiased judgments, and how to be fatherly like our Father who is in heaven. There came to port last Sunday night the queerest little craft. Without an inch of rigging on, I looked and looked and laughed. It seemed so curious that she should cross the unknown water, and moor herself right in my room. My daughter, oh, my daughter! Yet by these presents witness all she's welcome fifty times, And comes consigned to hope and love, and common meter rhymes. She has no manifest but this, no flag floats o'er the water. She's too new for the British Lloyds, my daughter, oh my daughter. Ring out, wild bells, and tame ones too, ring out the lover's moon, Ring in the little worsted socks, ring in the bib and spoon. Ring out the muse, ring in the nurse, ring in the milk and water. Away with paper, pen, and ink, my daughter, oh, my daughter. George W. Cable End of section 39 Read by Kara Schallenberg on October 26, 2006 In Oceanside, California